everybody it's sam here thank you for watching so today i'm going to show you how to use the ferris wheel with this new magic roundabout collection i done some of the samples for the recent launch of this on craft stash and i said to the guys that i think it would work really well with my fun at the fair dies so i'm using the ferris wheel here today so i've already got lots of tutorials using this die set and i'll have that playlist coming up now but what i've done is i've gone ahead and cut everything so this is the die set here i always cut two of the wheel and stick them together so it just becomes nice and strong and then i haven't gone for the same baskets there are four but i've misplaced one i can't find it anywhere so rather than just doing the three i've just cut eight of this one but you want eight so if you're going to do one of you know if you've got four which you will have just pass them all through twice and then you've got your eight baskets but i've got these ones here in blue now i've stuck with the colors you know of the paper pad so everything coordinates there but you can get all of your color inspiration online if you just type in the magic roundabout and then i was looking at the characters in the stamp set so I've got these masks on top because I've been doing some other um, techniques and project and cards using the stamp set. But he was the smallest one that would kind of really fit in there. But I did try just her head and it actually looked quite cute with her arms coming out. If I just put the basket, you imagine, you can't really see it like this, but can you imagine her arms coming over here? So they're over the basket and then her big head on there and it did look quite fun. But I thought I'm just going to stick with Zebedee. So this is him here and I've cut eight of him. So we're just going to have lots of Zebedees on the Ferris wheel. And when I laid it all out, it did look really cute. So if you want to do the same as me, then stamp and cut eight of him. And then I've cut here two of the base, which is this die here, the big Kind of triangular one and then the mat layer here which is that smaller one and i've used the papers in the pad there and then you want to cut this one which is the stand which holds it all together and then for the sentiment here i've stamped the have a magic day which is from the other stamp set here and then just the scalloped one here you know i've cut them both of those but you can see they're the one in red so that's going to go in the middle you also want eight brads so i've got my brads all here ready so I'm not too worried about the colour of my brads because my character actually covers that area. But if you've got a smaller character, for example, the characters that I launched this with, they're smaller. So then you see the brads, you just want a colour that's going to coordinate and match. So I'm going to use all these blue ones because they do match and I've got lots of them. And if someone obviously does look from the back, then, then it will be nice and neat. So I've got eight there. So a little tip when you add your brads is pop it through the basket and then pop it through one of the holes. Open it up slightly and then use a pokey tool, piercing tool, whatever you want to call it, and open the brad over the piercing tool like that. You see? And what that will do, rather than you just opening it flat, it will allow that to spin. Can you see how free that can just spin around? And that means they will all move around perfectly as the wheel moves. Whereas if you squash it right down, then they're just going to go upside down as they turn around. So if you want them to spin like that, that's what you need to do. So I'm just going to do that with the rest. OK, so now you can see they all move really freely. If anyone looks like it's stuck, just loosen it a little bit at the back. But you can see how they all look there. Next, I'm going to stick in my character so i'm just going to add a little glue so i want his spring part to pop out there we go just make sure none of it sticks you know to the back of the ring there so just make sure that's all okay so i'm just going to now just going to do that with them all okay so that's the last one also i don't think i said but these are five mil brads that i used um you can use the eight mil as well, but they'll be a bit tighter. So you're best going with the five. Okay, so now we've got all our Zebedees. I think I might've had a little bit of glue. Yeah, I've got a little bit of glue there. Let's just make sure. There we go. Now something else you might also wanna do, which I've shown in other tutorials, is cut two of every basket. So cut another eight. And then once you've stuck your character in, stick the baskets together. So your character is sandwiched between because you might get some catching. I mean, I think he's going to be fine. You can see they all move pretty well. It also just tidies up the back as well, if you want that to be a bit neater. So it's an option there, and I do show that in some of the other ones, but I think I'm happy with this. I think it's going to work really well. I'm going to pop my sentiment up on some foam and just stick that one on. Okay, so now we can put together the base here. So you want to take this one here and you want to create a concertina fold 
so you've got an M shape, okay? I'm going to use the construction glue on this just to make it a bit stronger. Which are, all the glues I use are linked below my video. It's the most common comment I get. And the construction glue is listed. It says construction glue and then the brand. And then the quick grab is there as well. And it says quick grab glue. So they are all listed. Just click the, just scroll below the video and click see more or more. And then it will expand that drop down. You'll see everything there. So you would have seen me just stick that one on the front. You're going to do the same with the back one here. Okay, now there's a couple of ways that you can put this together. You can put the brad, you can stick these two together, which I'll do in a minute, like so, and then pop the brad through both and then add the wheel. Or you can put the brad just through the front one. That will give it a bit more of a freer spin. And then you just cut one of the mat layers and just cover, just bring it up a bit higher to cover the hole on the back there. So I'm just going to add a little glue just along that tab there. It is thin because the hole's there. So if it was any bigger, then it would um, get in the way. And then just squeeze that together. If you fold the whole thing flat, you'll see it will all line up. Okay, so you can see there how that's glued together. So I'm just going to take another one of those brads. And you're going to pop it through the middle of the circle or the wheel. And then through... For me, just that front one. Like I so said, if you want to go through both, you can. It still, you know, works and looks as it should. And then you might want to, you can put it through this first one and then stick it together. But if you just get your pokey tool in there, you can still open it up. Now you should be able to spin it round. <laughs> I always have so much fun making these. It's a great card for kids. I made all three for my best friend's little boy for his third birthday a couple of years ago, when not long after it had come out and I had all three of them together as one card. And it just looked lovely. It's such a fun style and you can have anything you want, you know, in the baskets. So now I've just got to add my sentiment in the middle. So I'm just going to add a little this one i'm going to stick it basically what i'm going to do is add a little foam here and here and stick it on so the sentiment will go upside down as it goes around or you can pop a tiny bit of foam just on the middle there and then stick it on and then the sentiment will stay facing upright so it's up to you but i don't mind the sentiment you know spinning around i don't think um you know the recipient would mind either so i'm just going to I think these foam pads are about the same height as the brad. So just one, just either side. Again, yeah, make sure nothing is sticking. Just test there, nothing's sticking on the back. And just make sure they're all hanging down right. I've got that all lined up. There we go. So thank you for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this fun card using the Ferris wheel collection. So hopefully it just gives those of you that already have this die set a little bit more inspiration and different ways to use it. I'll have all of the product that I've used linked in the description box below. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today. It really does help the channel and I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.